We, dollars so we both lose 20 bucks a piece. But having fun and having fun is what it's all about. Johnny DiLoretto joining us in Worthington with some not so boring board games. Who won Yahtzee? It was a tie. Uh, something like that. Who won checkers? Uh, same it was answer. A tie. <laughs> well, let me ask you guys. <laughs> Are these games that you guys play with your families at home? Yeah. Favorite, favorite family definitely, games? They're fun. Definitely. I've, I've got a sports version of the Monopoly thing that the kids actually really like. Yeah. yeah. And we bring Yahtzee, you know, to the beach, so that's nice. Well, very good. Well, we have a couple of other family game suggestions for you because it's important that families play games together. Dr. Valerie Staten is going to tell us a little bit about the importance, the education educational importance of playing these games. Bauer? Well, um, these games are really great because they focus on critical thinking skills mm -hmm. and problem solving skills and so they're a great way to engage your mind while you're having family time instead of just sitting there blankly watching television or a movie. You're actually interacting, thinking, planning ahead. Some of them involve math skills, some of them involve um, advanced reasoning, planning, mm -hmm. um, those sorts of things. And so it's a really great way to spend time with the family and include an educational element. A lot of uh, homeschoolers yeah. use games like these as part of their curriculum. Okay, and we can see a lot of families having fun here. A lot of families are members here, like the Barica family right here. They're playing a game called Zularetto. Zularetto. I have nothing to do with this game. But, Carolyn, tell me how you got started, why you guys, you're new members. Yes, we joined about a month ago, and the reason we joined is we wanted to spend more time as a family, wanted to get the kids away from video games, so we decided to look into some strategy games. Uh, I'm a teacher, so I wanted to make sure that what we did was educational for the kids. So we started with Quiddler. 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 It was a card game, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like Scrabble, but you play with cards, and and we found that it helped increase the kids' uh, spelling skills, okay. regular skills. And Anna, you guys enjoy it? You enjoy playing the games? Mm -hmm. All of us enjoy it, especially Bonanza, because everybody gets competitive. It's Bonanza. So fun. Wow, that that's a, dun, 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 dun. that sounds like my kind of game. Okay, come on back. We're going to talk about more games for kids, dexterity-based games. You got to see some of these. You got to see some of these games. Very interesting. Competing with Nintendo Wii, old school style. Little Joe is on the phone for you, Johnny. Is he? Tell yeah, him for the tell him, tell him Haas said uh, he'll be there in a minute. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. Ivan Worthington with the Columbus, Columbus Area Board Game Society. I cannot say that for the life of me. It's driving me crazy. Dexterity-based games are what we're going to talk about next. Check this out. Ready? Go. I got it. You get hit in the face with this thing. We're going to tell you about dexterity-based games for kids, the alternative to video games when Good Day Columbus returns. Oh, she got one. 